Okay, so before we start the video, I have to real quickly say that I had some issues with the recording during the first few minutes, so it's very choppy. But I feel like the footage is necessary for the video, so I'm going to include it anyway because it was one of the nicer things that we ended up finding. And it unfortunately was choppy, but I hope you guys can look past that. It's only going to be for the first couple minutes of this video, so it shouldn't affect it too much. But anyway, let's get to the actual video. Hello everybody, today we are on the Hunter Classic, and this video was actually requested by one of my moderators on Twitch. He had saved up his channel points and used it to choose what my next hunt would be here. And he chose Red Feather Falls, so that's what we're going to be hunting on today. I'm not sure what I'm going to go for yet. He said to just go for whatever I felt like going for, so I think what we're going to do is probably go for some whitetail first so we're kind of going to take this little route right here along this path and go all the way up here if we can and then we'll probably fast travel after that and go up to this tent and kind of walk around down this area because i want to see if we can get ourselves a white tail first and then we're going to head up here for black tail because this is a pretty good black tail area I'm not sure if we're going to actually go in this direction or this way, but we're going to go through one of those. And we'll just see how everything goes. We actually have the grunt of a whitetail buck, so let's go ahead and sneak over to this guy. Hopefully it'll be a decent one to start off. This is the first grunt that I've heard, and we barely even moved away from the lodge, so... Pretty nice that we found one this quickly. That is one of the great things about spawning at this lodge, is you get whitetail pretty thick throughout this whole area right here. So there's always a pretty good chance that you'll have a buck relatively close to the lodge. One thing that I did forget to mention is today we're going to be using the 9.3 by 62. This was actually the first gun that I ever bought in this game. So it's definitely got a special place in my heart because this gun is what I spent my first probably 100 hours of this game using. And I also have along with me the Parker Python as always. This was actually the second weapon that I bought in this game now that I think of it. So using my two first weapons today. Hopefully we can bag ourselves some nice trophies. We're getting really close to this buck right now. He shouldn't be too much further in front of us. Ooh, that actually is a decent buck. Not too bad of a buck to start out with. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let's see what the estimate says. So 100 to 180. I don't have the highest spotting skills in most of my animals because when I used to play this game heavily I didn't really focus on leveling up any of my skills but this is definitely a decent buck right here and a pretty good one to start out with so let's go ahead and get a range on him see how close he is oh yeah he's definitely close enough to take a shot Ooh, that was a little bit higher than I expected that to go. Uh, let's go ahead and take another shot into him then. If I can get a bead on him. Alright, that got him down. Uh, not how I wanted that to go, but it seems to have hit higher than I initially thought it would. It might have actually been vital. Okay, so it was actually vital. It just didn't drop him, so I probably only single lunged him. That explains why he ran a little ways. So that wasn't as clean of a kill as I wanted it to be, but we got him in the end and that's all that really matters. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. He did look like he'd be a pretty good buck. My guess is probably 160, 165. It's been quite some time since I've killed a decent sized whitetail, so my estimates might be a little bit off, but I'm gonna say 165. All right, here's that beautiful buck. Go ahead and get him claimed. And he is 167, so I was very close on that estimate. It's definitely a good whitetail buck. Not a bad start at all. Not too bad of a picture. I like that. Uh, let's go ahead and look through the filters. Eve. Yeah, we'll go with the chroma one. I really like the way that looks. I've, I've always really loved this filter, as you guys can probably tell. I use it on almost all of my shots. But it is such a nice filter, especially for these low light scenarios. It kind of brightens it up a little bit. But yeah, that's a really good start. Not a bad buck to start off with. 167 is pretty good. I think my personal best is only like a 171. 
like I was saying, when I used to play this game all the time, I didn't really play it super hardcore. I kind of just played it with friends for fun. But recently I'm trying to get into it a little more. Try to beat all of my old personal bests. Alright, so we got the track of another buck, so I think I'm going to follow it and see if we can catch up to it. It was a 50 to 80 track, so... Uh, not as heavy as the last one, but you never know. It could surprise us. Okay, so I just spooked this buck off, and I'm not exactly sure what his rack looks like, but it looks really long and weird. I'm wondering if it's maybe a non-typical. I highly doubt it, but at the same time, that looked really long and thin. It definitely didn't look like any rack I've seen before. Alright, I believe that's him. I'm actually not even sure if that is a non-typical now. Alright, so I got a better look at that buck. I went back and looked at the footage and it was just a regular typical buck. It wasn't a non-typical like I initially thought it could have been when we first saw it running off, but yeah, it was not a non-typical. It just kind of looked like it as it was running away. So we're going to go ahead and fast travel up here. I had to end the recording and look at it and it looked really choppy. So I've changed a few things around. Hopefully it's not choppy anymore. Uh, I'm probably not going to post a ton of the first portion just because of the fact that it's choppy and I don't want the low quality footage in there. So yeah, we're going to go over here and hopefully it'll behave properly and not bug out on me. Well, looks like we got ourselves a little moose right here. So I guess we'll get this little guy. I do have the moose color on me, so we'll just call him in. And take him out, that way we don't have to hear him calling and he won't potentially spook any other animals. Alright, let's go ahead and get ready to take this guy. See, he's really close. A lot closer than I wanted him to be. But we went ahead and got him down. So hopefully we can get ourselves a blacktail buck now. Since that's what I came over here for. But it's nice to get a little moose along the way. Either way, it is some gems. If nothing else. And we actually just completed a mission too. So that's going to get us some more gems. Alright, so I had to restart everything because I was starting to get a lot of issues. Uh, first, it was the choppiness at the beginning of the video. It kind of subsided for a little bit, but I started having more issues, so I just decided to restart everything. So, hopefully we're good now. I went ahead and changed the time to 8 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. Because the visibility was really poor, because it started raining, unfortunately. So, yeah. Let's hope this is a little bit clearer and easier to see. Looks like we have a decent little blacktail buck right there, actually. Let's see what this guy's estimate says. It looks like a nice one. 100 to 180. I'm going to guess 160 on this guy. But let's see. Let's get him called in. That was not the best shot in the world. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and not take another shot yet because I do think he's probably going to calm down before he goes out of sight just because of where we are. Okay, so it actually was a lung shot. I thought we messed that up. I really need to get used to this again. I was doing alright for a while, but I'm so back and forth with the bows. One day I'll be doing really well with them, and another day I'll be making shots like that constantly, so I definitely need to get more consistent with it, because I'm not consistent at all right now. But that buck is definitely dead, so we'll have to go pick him up. I want to spot all these does real quickly so I can get my spotting skill leveled up more. Alright, so here's that black tail buck. It does look like it's going to be a pretty good one, actually. I am definitely happy with this one. Let's push him over a little bit so we can see before we pick him up. That's a good buck. Definitely a good buck. I still think it's going to be low 160s, but let's see. 162. Yeah, about as I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and get a screenshot, though. Or a trophy shot, because this is actually not too bad of a buck. 
All right, so I think this is the best we're gonna get. Uh, the lighting's kind of poor in this area right now. The clouds are kind of going through and I had to be quick This was the best I could get the Sun's kind of shining on it, but still not perfect, but I think it'll do for now But yeah, that's a pretty decent black tail deer Not too bad for our first black tail of the day All right, so it looks like we got ourselves a little white tail buck right there Let's get a closer look at him about an average buck nothing too crazy on this one let's try to call it in because I don't really want to take a rifle shot we actually have a ton of elk coming up on us along with a little white-tailed doe so yeah all of these are coming before the buck is he's just sitting there though so I don't know what I want to do I think we'll for sure just kill a couple of these cows to get them out of the way I am gonna have to jump down and then they'll spook anyways so it's better to just take them out when they get close that way they don't spook off and spook other things but yeah this buck's just sitting there I don't think he's gonna come in anytime soon I might just take him with the rifle because of that reason but I'm gonna kill a few of these first That is two of them down. Hoping this one will keep stepping forward and the other will stay where it is. There we go. Well, we got four of them before they spooked off. Not too bad. And we got this little white tailed doe coming in. But that buck is still just sitting back there. He is moving around a little bit, but he's not moving in the direction I need him to, so we're going to call a little bit more, and if he doesn't come to that, I think I'll just take him with the 9.3. But yeah, he doesn't seem interested. He's just sitting there, so let's go ahead and take him with the 9.3. And that will do the trick right there. Alright, so here's this little buck right here. He actually does have a couple little stickers off of his uh, left beam. That's kind of cool. I kind of like the way this guy looks. We actually liver shot him too. Let's get a little closer look at those antlers. Oh yeah, this guy's got all kinds of funky stuff going on. Yeah, that's a funky one for sure. It's really difficult to get an angle that actually shows that antler the way that I wanted to. I think this is going to be the best right here. Yeah, that looks decent. Uh, I really don't know what filter to use though. I think we'll just go with no filter for this one. That seems to show it the best. So we'll go ahead and sell this little guy. And we'll keep on searching. See if we can find ourselves something better. Alright, so we got ourselves another white tail buck right there. Uh, we're going to have to get a little bit closer. Because I don't feel comfortable taking a super long shot on him. We are down to only our rifle though. Because I... Uh, I ran out of arrows and I forgot to pack extra ones, so yeah. That's a little unfortunate. Definitely not the smartest thing I've done in my life, but we'll make it work. We're just going to have to use our rifle, so only going to be shooting bucks from now on. Not going to be taking care of any of the females that sneak up on us, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to go for these big males, but I think... That should be a good enough spot. I do want to kind of get on a slope so I can prone. I hate taking standing or crouching shots in this game. I feel like it really puts you at a slight disadvantage because your gun is just so much more wobbly. Looked good. Put another in him just in case though. The 9.3 is a very powerful gun, so I'm kind of surprised that it didn't drop. I don't remember this gun having very much drop at range, so that should have been completely fine right there. But we will see when we get up to it. Alright, so we did get this guy down. And that second shot did hit. I don't even know if the first one did. I think it hit. We'll find out soon, but that's a decent buck right there. That's definitely a nice one. Nicer than what I initially thought it was. Okay, so it was body and hind leg. This guy scored 152. 
Not too bad. Not as big as the first buck we got, but still a decent one. Alright, there we go. This is the best picture I think I can get. It at least makes him look bigger than he is, so we'll go with that. And sell him. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.